Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law with a secondary focus in criminal work and injury work. If you have uh, questions about that, please, of course, subscribe to our channel. Um, we handle a lot of questions in our video series. One question that we have received is, what information should I have ready for my custody consult? <clears throat> the scenario basically is that you're thinking of making a, a, a court proceeding or making appropriate motion to get custody of your kid and then you're going to talk to an attorney about it. What information do you, do, do you need to have? Well, you have to understand one thing. If there's an existing custody order in place, in order to upset or set aside that order, the court is going to have some compelling reasons, some major change in circumstances which would support it revisiting the issue. So the first thing you're going to want to have available to your lawyer is, what's the reason to even look at this in the first place? It can't be, well, you know, my, my um, husband has had the kid for a couple years, it's my turn. That's not going to cut it. That may cut it with a chair or a car or some sort of picture on the wall. It's not going to cut it when a child is at stake because there are emotional and uh, other uh, psychological bonds that are created and, and there's routines that have to be followed and the court's very sensitive to trying to maintain those routines to try and keep a seamless situation going with respect to your child. If you're going to turn that upside down, the court's going to need to know a strong reason why that is. So you need to be prepared to discuss that as a primary thing. What might that be? Well. It might be that, uh, you know, uh, your, your ex um, all of a sudden has become addicted to drugs or alcohol. Or maybe your ex lost a job and can't afford the house. The house is in foreclosure. Um, there may be financial reasons. There may be personal reasons. Maybe your ex has taken up with someone who's got a history of child abuse. Um, who's got convictions for criminal sexual conduct. You know, these are major things and the court's going to be interested in knowing what that is. The court will not consider a change of circumstances something that's predictable in life. So if your kid is now starting high school, it's predictable and foreseeable that in the normal course of academic development, the kid's going to go from middle school to high school. That's not going to be considered a normal a change in circumstances that the court is going to look at to revisit custody. Um, you know, the, the, the fact that a, a, a child may be a little bit more oppositional as they become a teenager, that's also expected and foreseeable. So m my point is, you've got to look for things that represent real radical changes, things that aren't part of the everyday development and growth of children. If you have something like that going on, <clears throat> the court may very well see that as a reason to revisit the custody issues. And that is a primary thing that you have to have prepared when you go for that custody consult with your lawyer. If you are uh, thinking about getting that consult or if you have questions about that, call now and we'll be glad to give you guidance and help you out.